lower in malta looking at more of the stock everything you see is online it is priced and everything has a, a, a size so if you're looking for a gift to malta or some furnishings for your house or you're looking for investment then look at us as well as the other people and we might have something that you, you fancy um, we've got a print here for example from england it shows an english scene it is julian trevelyan he did visit Malta, he, he did do some Maltese prints. We have one Maltese print by this, this person, uh, which is online. They're fantastic things. They are so innovative and he was so consistent. And uh, the variety is mind boggling to someone who, um, if you take, take the time to think about it, if you look at the Chevalier work, it's mind boggling stuff. I rate it immensely, like it immensely. We have a parsimore next to him. He was English as well. He lived in Malta, in Malta for a long time, in Guja. Many of his works do not feature Malta. There is a letter which says so, that he wrote. Uh, we have got the Calypso pictures by him, which did feature Malta. I'll show you those, they're behind me. These ones here, for example, these four are Cave of Calypso Suite. In the archives, there is evidence there were more than four. He would have experimented, would have made more than four. I think there were five or six. These are the four main runners. We have a set of four. They are, they are printed proofs. They are signed by Victor Parsons' own hand with this monogram. They are large pieces of art. We have the plate, which is 38 by 38. I think in, in metric, that's 15 inches square or 18 inches square. You have a margin with the torn edge and then you we have put it into these big frames so you can see the whole thing and the background is a sort of ivory, ivory or cream we've also played with the variety of trevelyan frames for example the, the other trevelyans we've got a multitude of them some of them are white frames some have got black frames some have got gold frames so there's a choice those are numbered limited editions and they are signed by hand by Julian Chevalier and in the full, full full signature and they are also titled this personal stuff that we have isn't titled on the actual print though they have got titles we do older things too for example we have a map of not a map sorry a prospect a view of the letter this is 1780 We've got a large amount of maps of Malta, prints, bits and bobs, and also quite a lot of Maltese art. This is a Richard, a Richard Saliba picture, for example. It is a print. Dated 1997 and signed as well. So you go online and look at the stuff you'll see that there's a lot of choice it's quite difficult if you're new to the market a lot of choice a lot of variety a lot of price points some things are cheap some things are mid to cheap some things are expensive some things seem to be very expensive the things that are very expensive are expensive for a reason it's not only rarity it can be um, things like the artist it can be the quality of the works the size of the works there are different things that make things expensive as demand of course um, in Malta the Maltese stuff is really really sought after and um, we bring quite a lot of stuff to Malta back, and I'm going to say back to Malta we bring a lot of stuff back to Malta from England and uh, it's quite satisfying for us to do that not only because it gets good prices it's nice to see some of this stuff return home um, the collectors in England do like the Maltese stuff. There are marine collectors, and there are wartime collectors, and there are historical collectors who have their specialist fields. And um, there is still healthy demand in England and elsewhere for, for Maltese stuff. But it's, as I say, it's, it's really nice to get stuff sent back home. Okay, thank you.